back to Chill YouTube. My name is Anna, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ultimate routine to shaving your bikini line with no razor bumps or no ingrowns. Before we get into the routine in the video, if you guys are not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe down below. We post videos every single week, and we'd love to have you guys stick around. So you guys are always asking us on all of our social media channels how to prevent ingrown hairs and also how to get rid of them and how to shave correctly. So I thought I would just bring all of our tips into one video for you guys. I think I have perfected the bikini line shaving routine to getting rid of ingrowns and razor burns. So I'm so excited to share with you guys. Before we get into the products, I just wanted to talk a little bit about ingrown hairs and how they're caused. So ingrown hairs are so, so common, which is why so many people experience like darkness, discoloration, ingrown hairs on your bikini line and just anywhere else in your body that you shave. And ingrown hairs are often the result of waxing, shaving incorrectly, or anything like the removal of hair. And it basically an ingrown hair happens when instead of growing out, the hair kind of grows back in and tucks under, if that makes sense. And an ingrown hair can also happen when the hair follicle becomes blocked with dead skin cells. So this is why I always say that exfoliating is so, so important to make sure you're getting rid of all the dead skin. But I also feel like the best way to get rid of ingrown hairs and just to preventing them is by using an overall shaving routine. So I have some of my favorite products I wanna share with you guys right now to prevent ingrown hairs. So the first step to removing ingrown hairs and getting a smoother and closer shave on your bikini line is by exfoliating. I say this all the time, but exfoliating is so important, especially in your bikini line shaving routine. This is one of the scrubs that I like to use so, so much on my bikini line. It is our Blueberry Kush 300 milligram CBD body scrub. So this is what it looks like. It's like this really nice blue color. It smells like blueberries and it is so amazing. And this really works to detoxify and brighten your skin, which is why I like to use it on my bikini line area. It has the oil of a thousand blueberries, vegan collagen, organic coconut, and also an AHA BHA boost. So I absolutely love to use this on my bikini line. And I also really like to let the steam of the shower kind of open up my pores when I'm about to exfoliate. So I will turn the water on, make sure it's like pretty steamy, let that kind of like soak into my skin. And then I will go in with an exfoliator. And once you mix this exfoliator with water, it's really going to froth up and it's going to get rid of all the dead skin cells, prep for shaving. It's also going to brighten your skin and help to prevent ingrown hairs. And I also love using a scrub, especially down there because it makes your shave last longer. And I don't like shaving every single day. <laughs> I'm sure nobody does, but this really helps to make your shave last longer every single time you shave. So I love to use an exfoliator. And it's also really important to rub it in circular motions for at least like a minute, just to make sure you're getting all the dead skin off and that the product is really working into your skin. This is one of my other favorite exfoliators. It is our Smooth Legend Pre-Shave Scrub. This is featured in our Ultimate Smooth Legend Shave Kit, but it's also an amazing option for shaving down there. It has also really hydrating ingredients like coconut, grape, passion fruit, lavender, and vitamin E. Okay, so my second tip for preventing ingrown hairs and getting the smoothest bikini line shave ever is shave butters. You guys know shea butters are such an important step in your skincare shaving routine. So these are the two shea butters we have here at Truly. We have the Coco Cloud Shea Butter and our Happy Hairless. These are both basically the same consistency. They just differ a little bit in the ingredients that they have. So our Cocoa Cloud has vanilla, coconut milk, argan oil, white tea, and a vitamin E boost. I love using this one, especially in the winter time because my, my skin gets really, really sensitive because it's just so dry. And I feel like the product, the ingredients in Cocoa Cloud are like the most nourishing and hydrating for sensitive skin. So this is my go-to winter shade butter. If you guys have sensitive skin or you're dealing with ingrown hairs, shade butters are going to be your best friend because they're so much better than a shaving cream. Basically, the main difference is that a shave butter is going to be really, really thick. So you only need a small amount, first of all. So a little bit of this goes a really long way. Second of all, it's going to really protect your skin from the sharp razor blade that you're going in with on those sensitive areas of your skin, like your bikini line. And third of all, it's just going to be really, really hydrating. It kind of also works as an in-shower moisturizer. All of those reasons together are going to give you a very, very hydrating and nourishing shave. This is our other shave butter. It is our Happy Hairless Rich Shave Butter. I already used this one, so it's not a perfect swirl. But I also, this is also one of my favorites. It was like my summer go-to shea butter. So it has coconut, grape, passion fruit, lavender, and vitamin E. And the lavender is also going to be really, really softening and soothing on the skin. So it's going to help to protect against redness and razor burn. So another reason why you guys might be experiencing ingrown hairs, and I know this because I used to always experience ingrown hairs when I was doing this, and it is by not changing your razor blade frequently enough. So this is our Truly Razor. It is a five blade razor. She's honestly so iconic. I love this razor and I will never use another razor again because I'm simply obsessed. 
But I, when I used to really struggle with ingrown hairs the most, it was because I was using the same razor head for honestly like months at a time. I would never switch it. And I didn't really know that you were supposed to switch it frequently. So now I like to change my razor head every like three to five times that I shave, really depending on the area that I'm shaving. So if I'm shaving my bikini line, I like to usually always have a fresh blade because I find that since you're shaving those really sensitive areas, you don't wanna have a dull razor that's like barely shaving or it's gonna be shaving incorrectly and then you're gonna be getting even more ingrown hairs. So I love to just always have a fresh razor blade on hand that I can just shave with and you can just literally get the smoothest, softest bikini line ever with this razor. It's seriously amazing. And this paired with the shave butter is going to give you the most irritation free shave. And I seriously haven't seen an ingrown hair since using this in combination with the shave butter and an exfoliator together. Next tip is to use aftercare serums. So I have so many serums I could shout out right now, but there's been like three that I've been using consistently in the winter that have really helped me to prevent ingrown hairs and redness and razor burns. So this is the serum that I like to follow up with directly after I shave because I find that it really softens your skin. It really helps to soothe your skin and kind of calm it down after shaving. And it is our Cocoa Cloud Aftershave Serum. So this comes in our Ultimate Cocoa Cloud Shave Kit. And I love the scent of it as well. It smells just like the rest of our Cocoa Cloud products. And it also has those same hydrating ingredients as our other Cocoa Cloud products. So vanilla, coconut milk, argan oil, white tea, and a vitamin E boost. And I love the serum so much because I feel like if I have skin that's more on the drier side, this really helps to hydrate the skin and protect against ingrowns and just calm down any redness or inflammation directly after you shave. So I will just apply about three to five drops on my skin directly after shaving blend it in and then I like to let this sit on my body and have it fully absorb before I apply any other like moisturizers or serums or anything like that. But I think that the main thing that this serum really helps to do is to intensely hydrate, prevent against redness and irritation. And then my next two products are going to really help to protect against ingrowns. So the next serums I like to use in my routine are our Kuka products. So I have our Kuka oil and Kuka concentrate. I like to use both of these together. So like I mentioned, after I use the Cocoa Cloud Serum, let it fully absorb into my skin, I will go in with our Kuka Oil. It is an oil consistency serum, so it's going to be really, really hydrating. And these products are amazing at getting rid of ingrown hairs. Like I've seen results of these products in as little as one week and your ingrowns will be gone so quickly. So this contains a lavender, tea tree, jojoba, primrose, and an antimicrobial boost. So it's really going to take out all the toxins and bacteria from your skin. And the lavender and the tea tree are what's going to really help to protect against ingrown hairs and overall calm down your skin and hydrate and soften. You can use this oil anywhere that you have hair on your body. So if you just want to nourish your body hair, you can use it on your underarms, your bikini line, your legs, really anywhere. I would say this oil is used more as like a softening serum that really helps you protect against ingrowns. What I use next is our Kuka Concentrate. So I like to use this product as a ingrown spot treatment. As you guys can tell, it is a lot smaller than our Kuka Oil. That's because it's a much more concentrated product. So you only need a few drops per ingrown hair. And this is going to basically get rid of any ingrown hair in only a few days. So I like to use this on my bikini line especially, and I would just use about one to three drops per ingrown, depending on like the size of it and how fast I want it to gone. And again, this has the same key ingredients as the Kuka oil, like lavender, tea tree, jojoba, and also an antimicrobial boost. So these two together are seriously amazing, like miracle workers at getting rid of ingrown hairs. I use them every single time I shave my bikini line. And I can totally tell the difference from when I use those and when I don't use them. I feel like my skin looks way more glowy, hydrated, and you're basically just preventing any ingrown hairs from occurring. And then when I don't use those products, I feel like my skin's a little more dry and it could possibly and I could possibly have like some razor burn or irritation. The last product that I really want to shout out in my bikini line shaving routine is another hydrating body oil. And you guys know, this is probably my favorite product of all time. It is our glazed donut aftershave oil. So I like to go in with really light moisturizers like this glazed donut aftershave oil. I am obsessed with this oil, first of all, because it smells like a warm glazed donut. It's so amazing. And second of all, it's seriously going to hydrate your skin so easily and so quickly. And I feel like this oil really absorbs into your skin super fast. So you don't have to let it absorb into your skin for a while before like putting your clothes on. You don't have to worry about it staining your clothes. But I love that oil and it seriously makes my skin so hydrated and it's a must have for the winter season. So that is my whole entire routine for getting the smoothest, bump free bikini line. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have all the links down below if you wanna shop any of the products that I mentioned.
I feel like the new year is such an amazing time to try new skincare and try new things out. So I really hope you guys try some of these tips and ideas. And if you have any more tips in preventing ingrown hairs, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll talk to you very soon in our next one. Bye guys. Thank you.